This video is to show you how to set up key sticks for a CNC machine. I'm setting it up for a long arm sewing machine that I've been working on. You could also use it for a CNC router or something like that. If you're using, wanting to set this up for gaming, uh, this is probably not the right video for you. In the description is how to get to key sticks website and download it. So go there, download it and when you open it, it will look like this right here. So the first thing you want to do is go to this first little icon right here and click that. And it's going to show you this window right here. Now, what I did was I went to the standard keyboard down here to the bottom to actions and copy that. And then just change that to what you want your profile to be. I did long arm machine. Hit OK. That way you're not changing any of the preset profiles in case you want to come back and use them again later and then hit load and when you do that you'll notice over here it will load it so now you've loaded the long arm machine and now we just need to change it so we go to the second icon right here and that gives us our editing mode now on here you notice all the different keys now for mine i set it up so right-handed or left-handed you can move the machine around so these four are just moving it up down right and left and i did this joystick the same way then this pad right here I changed it um, so that it moves it just small steps. And then most of the buttons I disabled. And then I have this button that uh, starts my program running. And then this one sends my uh, machine back to the home position. So let me show you how to set that up. So go down. Let's click the first one we want to change. That F10 button. Go down to Quick Edit. And now what uh, what this does is all of all of the things that you're changing this to have to be keystrokes on your keyboard that will make your machine move in whatever ways. So you're just all you're doing is moving keystrokes to this controller. So go down here to there's hold key and there's type key. The difference is hold key is if you want to be able to move the machine and as long as you hold down the button it moves you want to use hold key if you use type key no matter how long you hold the button down it's like you just press the key and let let off immediately so we're going to do the these are intended to move the machine as long as i'm holding it down so i'm going to do hold key arrow key up and you can see it changed to up and i'm going to do one more quick edit hold key arrow key to the right and you would continue to do all of those and then do all of these over here let me show you how to set up uh, one of these incremental keys so you click that click quick edit type key arrow key up one more time quick key type key arrow key and right now let me show you how you can clear a key. So you hit like, see this escape. If you don't want it to have a function, you just go to quick edit, come down to clear actions. You can also click on them and just hit the delete button. And that allows you to change a bunch of them quickly. To start the program, I'm using an open builds controller, which uses Gerbil and it is just uses the space bar to start and stop, which quite a few of them actually do. So you click on this one, hit the quick edit and we just want to do a type key and then it is an other key and hit the space button and you can see that it changed to space now this one I want to show you this one last one it's a little different so we click that now in order to get to my to tell my my machine to home I had to go into open builds and set up a little macro that tells it when I push the control H button. I didn't want to use a button on the keyboard that if you just accidentally hit it, it would home the machine. I wanted it to be, you know, a two-step process. So I did control H. In order to set that up on here, highlight the button you want to do, go to quick edit and change it to the type of key it is. So we just want to do type key. It's a letter key and it's the letter H. So we click that. Now, it, where's the control part? Okay, so now we come down here to edit and we're going to edit that key. And what we need to do is see right here where it says control, you click that. And now when I hit update, notice it's gonna change right here in actions to perform and this button over here is gonna change. So I hit update and now it says 
type control H and it shows that when you hit this button, it's going to do control H. Okay. Now, after you get all these set up the way you want it, come down here and hit apply. And when you do that, you'll notice that the interface over here changes. So hit that, change to that, and then you can hit okay. Now, this is not saved. So go to this icon here in the middle that says open the program menu and do if you had opened a profile and not saved a separate profile, you could do save this profile as, no, you would do save as and set it up as a different profile. This one we did a set up a different profile originally. So we're just gonna do save this profile and you can see that it's saved. And now this is ready to go. And when you open up, every time I've opened this up, it just opens the last profile I was in. If it doesn't do that, then just go in to this icon here Click the one you want to put in and hit load and it will load it for you in there. Now, if you want to watch the controller actually move the machine around, just watch the video prior to this. Other, other than that, you're ready to go. Hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.